I grew up in a small city in Taiwan. Since I was a toddler, I was taken care of by my grandmother. She and I were very close. We did pretty much everything together. But I remember once we were going for a walk, and I turned to my grandmother and said, "Let's go home." And she looked at me, and she said, um, "Home? Where's home?" I was really frightened. She had Alzheimer's disease, and that moment changed the course of my life. I went on to study neuroscience, and I started my own research group at MIT to study diseases of the brain, like Alzheimer's. So Alzheimer's is one of the most devastating diseases there is. One in three adults will die from it, and there is no cure, not even good treatment options. Early on, we realized that to understand Alzheimer's disease, we need to look at how brain cells communicate with each other. So inside our brains, there are billions of cells called neurons, and they work together by firing in these rhythmic pulses or waves. That are fundamental to how our brain works. When our brain is performing a task or forms a memory, they produce something called gamma waves. And in a healthy brain, gamma waves have a frequency of 40 hertz. But in our research, we saw that in brains with Alzheimer's, gamma waves got weaker. Eventually, the brain can't function the way it should, and the cells begin to die. And so, where Li Wei and I took it was, okay, wait, gamma's broken in these patients. Let's fix it. So, in the course of our work, we came across a German study that showed that flickering light can actually alter brain waves in cats. Very promising results. But being a scientist, you're trained to be skeptical. But it gave us an idea for an experiment. So our hypothesis was that in the brains of mice with Alzheimer's disease, if we flicker a light at this 40 hertz frequency, we could increase their gamma oscillation, and I could potentially minimize some of the effects of the disease. It was a little bit crazy. The first thing we did was go on Amazon, order some really nice LED lights. Then we built some blackout boxes. For our animal subjects to go into, we taped up those lights on the wall, and then we drove the lights at this 40 hertz frequency, and left the mice with the flickering light for one hour. We had no idea if this would work, but finally, I go get the mice, extract the samples. And I take my sample and I stick it in the machine. That's going to tell me did it work or not. It takes about five minutes to run, and then we get the results. And in the mice that went through the flicker treatment, the level of the protein known to cause the plaques in Alzheimer's disease was significantly reduced in the brain. Like, whoa! Like, yeah, this worked. Hannah walked down the hallway to my office and said, "Look, look, see what I got." So I look at her data, and I said, "Hmm, too good to be true." I challenge her, and I said, "You go back to repeat many times, and I want to see whether you get the same result. I need to see much more evidence." And so I do it again and again. And again, see those results. When she came back to me, the results are even better. So, in the part of the brain known as the visual cortex, we could detect 40 hertz gamma results—a huge increase. 
and the animals actually show improved ability to navigate the maze and to remember new objects. And the effect is quite profound. And so all we need to do is to expose the mice to light flickers. And we found a huge reduction of Alzheimer's disease. It's amazing. This is really uncharted territory. It's the first time that anybody realized that brain waves can actually influence nerve cells. And in this case, they become super functional again. So right now at MIT, we're doing trials to see whether this can work in humans. Because if it does, the potential is absolutely profound. I've always been in awe of the human brain. It gives us the ability to see, to hear, to love. But it can just as easily fail and take away our ability to remember, to find our way home. This new science unlocks just a little bit of that mystery and even offers the promise of restoring things we've lost.